<laughs> okay, joining us right now, we're very happy to have Pat Harlow, former New England Patriot, whom I sh am certain has no rooting interest in the outcome of this game at all. Uh, you know, you might be wrong on that one. <laughs> really? I don't know. Maybe. Come on. Maybe. Uh, Mr. Kraft's a wonderful man, and he's done Isn't a great he? job with that, with that whole organization. And uh, I'm, I'm proud that my name is associated with it. Yeah, uh, it Mr. Mr. Kraft was fantastic. We actually got a chance to talk with him yesterday at Media Day. Very nice man. But you spent the majority of your career playing for the New England Patriots. How was that? It was uh, obviously much different than it is now. We played in a kind of a decrepit old rundown stadium, and uh, we had to drive to our practice at, legitimately at a, at a mental facility. Really? Yeah. Uh, so it was uh, it was much different, um, but it was it was a lot of fun too. And uh, you played back in the day with the, with the man, right? Oh, with, the with the Pat the, the Patriot, yes. man, the best yeah. uniform That's of all time. That's my son's mascot now. Yeah. Is that Patriot? Yeah. Is my son's logo? Well, why yeah. Why they get rid of that? Why they get rid of that logo? You know, I think they needed to sell some more uh, jerseys or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Nike's coming this year, and they've got brand yeah. new jerseys coming out. Yeah. Honestly, in right. the spring. I, I, I tell a quick quick funny story. Uh, Andre Tippin are the ones who unveiled the new uniforms. Okay. And so we're up in the Four Seasons in Boston. Yeah, with all the NFL bigwigs and Andre and I got a, this guy comes up to me. What do you think about the uniform? I think they suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, he leaves away all in a huff, and Parcells comes up and he goes, well, "What did you say to that guy?" He said, "Well, yeah. What do you mean?" He said, "Well, he's all pissed off." I'm like, "Well, he asked me. Uh, he asked me if, if I like the uniforms. So I told him I didn't like them. He's like, he's a guy who uh, he's a guy who designed them." <laughs> and I tell him, "Well, you know what? If you don't want to hear the answer, don't ask me a question because I might give you an answer." Oh, All right. I, oh I, I, I find, I, I'm, I'm okay with the uniform now. It's yeah, fine. It's, it's grown on you, right, but a little bit? I, I still love the old one. You know what? When they do throwbacks, though, don't you just get a little happy places? So when I I'm, see I'm a, not going to lie. When I see an it. L.A. Rams jersey, I get excited. The yeah. old and my mind starts yeah. going Ferragamo. I'm like, yeah, let's yeah. go. Uh, definitely yeah. with during throwback week when the Patriots yeah. do wear that old. The, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's, now, it's Pat, tell us, what, what are you up to now? I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here actually with uh, PastUSA.com. We, we did. We talked with uh, the, Dr. Dr. Picasso earlier. We've yeah. had about five of your guys on, yep. and each one of them has nearly brought me to tears with their story. I'm just going to ask you not to make me cry. How, I won't make how you cry. They ha how have they helped you personally? You know, they've. Uh, I I'm actually brand new to the program. Uh, other than I've uh, uh, the doctors that they're working with with the, the hormone replacement, I've been uh, working through that for okay. about seven years. Um, I was in a, you know, not in a great place in my life. I had a friend of mine that uh, was into the anti-aging and all this, and he's telling me, you need to get your blood work done. You need to get all your, your hormones, so you, the, you know, your depression, your lack of focus, your lack of energy, you're not wanting, wanting to do anything at a very young, I'm 32, 33 years old at this right. time. I and thought I'm, you said right now. I'm like, uh, I'm like 42 dude, dude, you might want to see a doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I thought this I was a while ago. This is a while ago. And I'm like, you know, I'm not into it. I don't want to do it. Um, he's like, really? So I finally, he just bugged me long enough. And so I went and got my blood work done. And lo and behold, yeah. I'm a wreck. And it's yeah. from. Testosterone you know, level shot, HGH level shot. Gone, everything just shot. Just, and, it's, and, and he told, pulls out all these studies. On the on the brain injuries, right? And they go so something funny happens when your pituitary gland gets squished. squished. Day after day, time after time. So uh, I started this protocol, and I kind of got my life back. I still have a lot of pain. I've had 17 surgeries. I'm not quite done yet. Sit down pretty gingerly when you joined us. I do. Uh, next, uh, a, a complete wreck right now. So uh, I'm going to be uh, As seeing As an offensive them the lineman, you're in the trenches. You're in the you're, trenches, you're, and, and you're banging your head uh, every play, and it, it's a beautiful sport. I love it. I uh, wouldn't have changed. Uh, you know, everybody's like, would you do it again? Would you do it again? It's like, do you like to breathe? Yeah, yes. I would do it again. Yeah, I would absolutely do, do everything again. again. I would. Yeah. I would have figured out a way – to maybe make it long, last a little bit longer. Eleven uh, years and, and longer. Uh, a Eleven little, years was a long time. Uh, no, it's uh, it's never long enough. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's Tell me about enough. your final game. You know my final game. Did you I know it's going to be your final I game? I did not. I, I'm, uh. I am the epitome of not knowing it's your final game. We're playing the uh, the Cardinals in Arizona. Right. And uh, I get my back twisted. I lose use of my left leg. Just fall down. Get up. After we came back real quick, uh, get up, finish the game, go home, calling, talking to my best friend on the phone, place for the Jets at the time, Matt Willig, and I couldn't feel my legs anymore. That's wow. a problem. And I said, uh, this isn't good. Yeah. You know, and I had two young kids at the time. We have three now. And uh, I was like, you know what? I literally am on the phone. I'm like, I think my career just officially ended. Wow. And, uh, and so, no, I did not know. It w I did not know. I would have loved to have known. 
Um, but I wouldn't change anything because you know what? Uh, one thing I can I can say I played every play as hard as I could. I really can say that. Oh, uh, we so we're talking with uh, Pat Harlow, offensive lineman for the New England Patriots back in the in the '90s, um, and and we, like I said, we we spoke to the doctor. Uh, PassUSA.com is the website. Um, it's been amazing how they not only just take one injury and treat that they treat it all they take the whole person and, and they take care of the whole person that's what's really there's a lot of things really unique about them but the one of the big things is that they're treating the whole and not a piece so you know if you have this well why do you have uh why does this hurt and then if we can fix that then why are you still taking painkillers well because you're addicted to painkillers right or whatever it may be or you know this is out so this is going to be out so let's let's all, all these specialists and they all be get, we'll all get in one room, and we'll get a plan to fix you, not just piecemeal you out. Right. You, you know, know when Steve amazing. Jobs died, it was the last six months of his life that he had his doctors working collaboratively. Yeah. Up until that point, everyone was in their narrow niche. Right. And not talking to each other, and yeah. frequently doing things that are contraindicated to each other, and not getting anywhere. You have to treat the system and not the parts. And it was his son who said, "Dad, at our company." You wouldn't put up with this. Right. Department's not working together. And right. it's duh. And he starts flying everyone in, and they met regularly near the airport. Right. And But yet, PASS is already doing this, and that's that's what is so impressive to me because our medical system, I don't care what anybody says, medicine in America is great. The problem is we don't work collaboratively. Right, right, for, and for sure. there's no country that does that. So yeah. we're going to be on the leading edge of this, and PAST is doing this right now, and I think that's terrific. You know what's even more terrific about them is that they're bringing in, uh, doing it for free. Yeah, most pro, of the bono. Time. pro bono. Pro uh, bono, which also is great. Is, you know, we're kind of like the, uh, the, the proving grounds, and so these programs are also open to the general public. You know, high school kids get concussions, soccer players get concussions. Right. Uh, so all these things are still they're they're open and open for business for those people as well. And if you know, and kids get concussions, you know. Yep. But if we can do, minimize the after effects of those through you know fish oils and supplements, obviously you're not going to do anything to their endocrine system as far as hormones to a child. But there's other natural substances that they can be taking that are good for you that are going to give them positive uh, positive effects and with no uh, side effects. And so there's things for 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 kids as well, and, and just you and and you and grandma and grandpa and, and everybody. Okay, right. Pat, we got to get uh, personal here. You live in San Clemente. We're from L.A., We're Pasadena and Altadena. I got married in San Clemente. Yep. And Beautiful. I grew up going to your famous T Street beach that yep. even if we tell people they won't even be able to find they, they it on Google. They couldn't find it. Yeah, they couldn't and find that's it. That's the beauty yeah. of it. You won't, that's it's why. A, it's a it's gem. It's a secret. It's a hidden gem. <laughs> and you got it in this windy street. You'll never get there. No. Um, so, but as a local guy, went to USC, we know that every, every Saturday we put 80,000 seats in the stands, either for USC or UCLA yeah. out at the Rose Bowl. So when Farmer's Field is built, whom would you like to see as the tenant? What seems most fair? We're, the league's not adding a team. I, Somebody's I, relocating. You I, know I, that. I think the Chargers come up. Thank yeah. you. High five. Like that one. High five. I, yeah, we well, do it like seems that. to we'll impact the fewest too. people in a negative yeah. way. People I, I, say the Vikings. I'm like, we took the Lakers, and that yeah. we're, what we're going to now take yeah. their football <laughs> team. It's like we're they're uh, nice. It's like we're invading uh, California again. Taking I know. Mexico. We're taking the water from <laughs> Northern <laughs> California. We're taking the sports teams from the Midwest. Oh, it's gosh. not fair. We're, we're an imperialist country. We no, you know what? You you and I kind of like we're we're, we're destined to be a little mortal enemies though because you're an SC guy and I'm a UCLA. I'm Bruce. a Stanford guy, so fault. it doesn't matter. It's, it's like it's not my fault. Not everybody gets accepted to SC. Uh, you know what, though? We have a bitter fight with the, with Stanford today over Kyle Murphy from San Clemente. Where is really? he going to sign? Yeah. When, when's National Signing Day? Today. He's making his announcement oh gosh, at 115. So at 115 today. So go Trojans. Fight on. Uh, uh, fight wow. on. I, I'll tell you know what, Jim Mora minutes. is going to change things. I do there. believe I so. so. I, you know what? One, of the, one of the happiest days when I heard Mora was heading to UCLA. You know, I, I want that game to mean something. You know, When I got to play against UCLA, usually it was when for the Pac-10 title. When we grew up, it meant a lot. And, and that man, when the when the stadium's filled and it's and SC, you never UCLA, knew the outcome. No, it, it was never a, knew. It's a great thing. So I, I mean, I, I want UCLA to be good. Just yes. I want to beat them every time. Exactly. <laughs> but you don't want it to be a rollover. No, 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 no. I, I, I know fifty to nothing. Come on. Yeah. Let's have some problems. Yeah, that no, was. Oh, oh, he brought up the fifty to nothing. Well, That's a sore know. spot right it now. Should man. Be. It should that, be. It should be. That's not good at all. Well, Pat, thank you very much. Um, Anything else you want to tell us about past and, and what they are doing? I, I just think it would be great if somebody was uh, interested in finding out more about it. If they go to uh, pastusa.com 
uh, and, and see what uh, they have to offer and see if they can help you out. Well, I think, you know, I'm, one of the things I'm doing when I get back is I'm definitely going to check them out. We had, a, we had a really good talk with the doctor, and I think there might be some things they could do for me yeah. personally. You played in high for, school. They could do for my wife. My wife, uh, uh, she, she had an injury. She fell down some steps, and her knee and uh, all the different doctors that we've seen, they've not said good things about about right. her knees. Here, and take some pain medication. Yeah. Let's treat the symptoms. Exactly. Yeah, the Let's symptom, get you addicted to the pain medication. That's, yeah, the the pain medication, they've given her the pain medication so that it doesn't hurt her anymore and she can deal with it. Right. They haven't done it anything. Fix for it. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it, yeah. uh, we, we definitely appreciate you guys coming out and, and getting the word on what we're going to do in turn. We're going to let everybody know. Jeff and I have been big proponents for the last four or five years about getting the league to do something for the players for that veterans. we grew up yep. uh, watching and, and loving and, and made this made the National Football League what it is today. I mean, all the banners you see, all the Super yeah. Bowl trophies, got every the single one. I yeah. just no, seen it's, the Rose Bowl uh, twice. Cool. And, yeah. and, and, and when we hear that there's some players that, you know, are, are almost near – Maybe taking their own lives because they. Ray gone Lucas was just on. Uh, yeah. Gonna take a right turn on the GW. Bridge. I, I got a buddy in SC, a buddy that was a high round draft, early, early, early first round guy that's uh, going through some rough times right now. Uh, you know, he's living in my house and uh, trying to take care of him, and wow. you know, and, and he's a guy I played eight years in the league as well. And, wow. And uh, it's hit hard times, so. Yeah. Well, Pat, and you first rounder yourself, right? It was. Yes. I was blessed enough to be first rounder. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, we we appreciate it, uh, New England Patriots. Real quickly, look into that camera. Who's winning Super Bowl Forty Six? It's definitely the New England Patriots. Wow! In, there in, in a close one. In a close one. In a close one. Okay. one. There you go, Matt Harlow, Babel. Thank you very much. Thank you.